I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, my name is Stacy. Welcome. And today's video I am so excited about because I am getting prepared to go camping tomorrow. I have not been camping in probably almost a year actually. It seems like the perfect activity to be doing right now. And what makes this camping trip especially special <laughs> is that I am going by myself for the first time. I have never gone camping alone before and I decided that this was actually the perfect time to try this out was during a time where we're supposed to be staying away from people anyway. So I was really inspired actually by a blogger that I follow and um, talk to occasionally, uh, Joanna of Jojo Tastic. She actually recently wrote a really great blog post about why she goes camping by herself and how she prepares for it. And she's a little bit more experienced and more like off the road, like backwoods kind of camping, the kind where you drive out a forest service road and park somewhere, um, which I would love to do that kind of thing someday, but I haven't ever done it before. And so for a solo trip by myself, um, probably not the best idea. So I have booked myself a campsite for one night at Eel Creek Campground. It's down kind of near Coos Bay, which is the central coast of Oregon, if you're not familiar with Oregon. And it's an area that I haven't been to in a long time. I love going to the Oregon coast. I think it's one of the best things about living in this state is having the ocean so close. And the Oregon coast is just so beautiful and wild and rugged. And the area around uh, the Coos Bay kind of area, I'll be closer to Reedsport, um, but that whole area is known for its big sand dunes. And there's a lot of like ATVing and that kind of stuff that goes on out there. The campground that I'll be at doesn't allow ATVs or any of that kind of thing in that area. So that's actually really nice because it means that there will just be these big, beautiful sand dunes and it'll be quiet. The campground itself is a forest service campground. Um, so it is like an established campground. I did make a reservation. They had a bunch of first come first serve sites and I probably could have done that too, but I didn't want to risk driving probably it's going to be between three and a half to four and a half hours to get down there depending on which route I take. I didn't want to drive four hours and then not have a place to sleep and have to come home. So I just went ahead and booked a site. So I actually grew up camping with my family. We would go like March through October every other weekend to state parks all around western Washington and it was one of the highlights of my youth honestly I enjoyed it so much I saw so many beautiful places around Washington that like I never would have seen otherwise even our family vacations in the summer were usually 10 day trips out to like a national park or just different areas in uh, the western United States or even up to Canada a couple of times my parents got a tent trailer when I was like eight or nine and we had that until I was in high school when we upgraded to a regular travel trailer because my sister and I were teenagers and so we needed a little bit more space but that's what I grew up doing is like sitting in the forest by a river writing in my journal or reading a book or going on hikes or visiting little towns and so that's just something that I have always really enjoyed I love being outdoors I love being by the water especially I just find it really therapeutic and so yeah it just felt like the right time to take myself on a camping trip alone. I feel safe going to a campground by myself. People know where I'm going to be. I checked in with friends and family. So my parents and one of my close friends here in Portland know exactly what my plans are. So if I don't show up on Sunday, <laughs> they will know where to look, um, but I feel fine. It feels a little morbid to be filming this video right now because this feels like the beginning of a horror film. Like someone's like, whatever, we're like going into the woods, blah, blah, blah. And then someone finds the camera later and it's like the last thing you ever saw of them. I might listen to too many true crime podcasts. So yeah, I am really excited. It is Friday evening right now. I have just gone and run a couple of errands. I had to pick up a package. I actually took my car to the car wash because it was so filthy. The pollen has been insane in my neighborhood lately and I like couldn't see it out the windows of my car. Normally I would not get my car washed before going camping, but it was a safety hazard at this point. And then I went to Whole Foods and I picked up food and beverages for the weekend for myself. Like I said, it is a pretty long drive down there. Um, I'm probably going to take the coastal highway down 101, um, which is 
adds probably an hour <laughs> to my drive time, which might seem insane to do that, but driving down I-5 is just like not all that enjoyable. So I'm just gonna take 101, plus there's a stop or two that I wanna make on the way down. Um, hi, Maya. So I'll be eating lunch tomorrow and lunch the next day on the road as well. So I needed lunch, dinner, snacks, breakfast tomorrow. Um, or Sunday, I guess. I am just getting everything else prepared tonight, and I'm thinking I'll probably hit the road around like 8.30 tomorrow morning. I wanna make a couple stops, or at least one stop. I know that there's one specific site that I want to see on my way down. So I will show you guys now what I picked up at the store. I am going to order some dinner soon because I don't really have any food for dinner here right now. And then I will get packed up. I will show you guys what I'm packing and how I'm packing and we'll document this whole weekend. Okay, so I did some damage at Whole Foods and I will show you what I got to bring with me for food this weekend. First thing, I got a sandwich. Um, this is one of my favorite sandwiches from Whole Foods and I figured that this would be good to have for lunch tomorrow. I also got barbecue chips because barbecue chips are my favorite kind of chip and it's not camping if there aren't chips involved in my opinion. Um, I got some apples. I'm not bringing all of these with me but I figured as long as I was at the store, I would get apples. Um, and then for snack slash dinner Saturday night, depending on how I'm feeling, I am doing like a charcuterie, um, like very basic charcuterie. So I got olives, just the Greek olive mix. Um, they don't have the olive bar open right now, so all you can do is just buy the whole thing, but this was only like, it was less than $5. Um, got two kinds of cheese. This one is sort of like a brie, like a soft cheese, and then this one is like an herbed cheddar, sort of. Um, and salami and crackers, obviously. And then for snacks slash some like food on the way back on Sunday, I got a couple of macro bars. Um, the banana and almond is my absolute favorite flavor. I also got this chocolate and almond flavor, which looks really good too. Um, for breakfast on Sunday, I got a muffin. Obviously, everything is like pre-packed at the stores right now. So I got a muffin and some yogurt. And then I got some hot dogs in case I'm able to find firewood and I can make myself a hot dog. I have buns and all that kind of stuff in the fridge. And then I also got a bunch of beer and wine. I'm not bringing it all with me, but I figured I was already at Whole Foods. So I would just like grab some stuff that I hadn't tried before. So. I'll just show you what I got. I always like to bring canned wine with me camping because it's just easy and I got red wine because at night when it's a little chilly and it's dark and you're by a fire, hopefully, <laughs> red wine is nice to have. So the Underwood, which is normal. And then I grabbed this free public one. Um, I don't know if I've had that before. Picked up this tall boy of the Dogfish 60 Minute IPA. I've had this before and I think I like it. I don't remember. I might have this tonight, I don't know. I picked up this, I'm not bringing this this weekend, I'm saving it for next week when it's 100 degrees, but I have been seeing these everywhere. It's a hard kombucha by June Shine, so anyway, I picked that up. And then the real deal, um, I was under the impression that Boneyard did not distribute um, outside of their breweries, but I found a bunch of their six packs at Whole Foods, so um, I can get Boneyard here in Portland, which is exciting. Uh, so this is their RPM IPA, which is kind of a classic. And then I do have another beer in the fridge that I was actually saving for this weekend. Um, I'll show you. This is from Bearlick Brewing, which is one of my favorites, and it's hard to find their stuff um, in stores. I don't know if they distribute in their stores, but um, I really love their beers, and this just looks really cute and I really wanted to try it. Um, it looks like it'll be like a nice beach beer. Um, so this is the Hell's Lager and I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to try that. So this one's definitely coming with me. Like I said, I am not bringing all of this alcohol with me. I am one person and I'm going for one night and I'm not trying to like party by myself in the forest, but I figured I was already at the store. I may as well just like stock up on some stuff while I'm there. I don't go to Whole Foods very often and they have like a way better selection of stuff than most of the other grocery stores. So one of my little tricks when I am getting ready to pack up for camping for the next day is that 
I don't obviously put all of the stuff in my cooler right away. Um, I wait until the next day so that the ice doesn't melt. So I take all of the stuff that needs to go into the cooler, all the food that needs to go into the cooler, and I put it in a bag in my fridge. That way I don't forget anything because I have forgotten things so many times. So all of this stuff will just go into my fridge and then in the morning I can take it out, put the ice in the cooler and put all this stuff in there. And then I will take all of the dry goods, um, anything that doesn't need to be refrigerated and I just put it in a double bag grocery bag. And the nice thing about using a double bag, like paper bag like this is that one of the bags can be used for keeping food and supplies and that kind of thing in. And the other one, I can remove it once I get to the campsite and that can be my trash bag. So the other thing that I will be packing with my dry goods is kind of all of my cooking gear slash supplies, whatever. Um, so first up, I just have this plastic bowl that I got at Target a long time ago, which is convenient. And I've had these paper plates forever and they're great so I'll bring paper plates with me um, this is something that is very important and this is my little camp stove and I honestly don't think I've actually used it before because since I purchased it I've always gone camping with other people but if you don't know this is basically this is geared towards like backpackers and stuff but honestly it's convenient if you're not doing a lot of cooking which I am purposely not really cooking while I'm there because I just don't want to. So basically this is like a little gas burner and it screws into the top of a propane canister. I just have one of these little guys um, because that's all I need and it just screws into the top of there. You turn it on, you light it and it makes a nice little hot flame. Um, I mainly purchased this because I need to be able to make hot water in the morning for tea. So then the other thing I have is this little cooking set. This is from Stanley. I got um, I got all this stuff at REI, um, and this is really nice. So this is like a little stainless steel cooking pot. Let's see if I can open this up. This is a little over 20 ounces, and it's nice. It's got a lid on top with a little handle that keeps your hand cool. It also came with two of these like really thick plastic cups, which honestly work really well as like little wine glasses when you're camping. You can also put like oatmeal in here. You could, like. I don't know, whatever you would put in a cup or a bowl, you could put in here. The handle just pops in like that, so I can just put that on top of my burner to heat up water for tea. And then this lid, or this handle, so the handle just pops back over like that and keeps everything enclosed. Bringing a thermos, obviously. I'll also have a water bottle, but that's coming with me in the car, so I'm not gonna pack it. I always bring tea with me, obviously. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I can't go a morning without tea, so. I just put a couple tea bags in a little Tupperware. And then this, I just keep with my camping gear. This, I'm not gonna take it all out because that's annoying, but I have a sponge for washing dishes. I will just bring my soap from home, which is easy. I have this really nice knife that pops out, which I can use for a lot of different things, cooking or making a marshmallow stick or something like that. Um, and then I have a fork and a spoon in there as well. Okay, so as you can maybe see behind me, I am working on packing up like my clothes and stuff right now and just getting all of my gear together. But I wanted to show you guys how I organize so that I make sure that I don't forget anything. The one thing with camping is that if you forget something important, there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. I'm not gonna be out in the middle of nowhere. There are towns around, so if I, left something behind like super crucial i'd be able to get it but the whole point is to be able to like go out there disconnect not have to go to a store or anything like that so it's really important to make sure that i have everything i need with me especially because i am going by myself like i said and there's no one there like i have to bring all of the stuff the onus is 100 percent completely on me so i will show you what i do so in true stacy fashion I set up a Google Sheet <laughs> and I have this organized by gear, kind of clothes and toiletries, and then food and then other stuff. Um, so in terms of gear, I mean, I have like all the basics on here. Like I'm not going to forget my tent, but the tent is still going on the list. So I've got my tent, you know, pillow, sleeping pad, sleeping bag, um, chair, lantern, uh, water bottle, burner and propane, uh, hand sanitizer, like some of this stuff is already in my car some of this stuff is like really obvious but I 
put it on the list anyway. Um, in terms of clothes and toiletries, I kind of like roughly lay out what clothes I'm going to bring so that I don't forget something really important, um, but I don't always stick exactly to this list. Like I have my hiking boots on here. I think I'm just gonna bring my running shoes because I'm not gonna be doing any significant hiking this weekend. Um, and tennis shoes and my Tiva sandals will be just fine. I also have kind of the basic toiletries on here. I do bring like a little bit of skincare, like moisturizer and that kind of thing. And then like my contact stuff, my toothbrush, toothpaste, that kind of thing. I mean, I put everything on here. In terms of food, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to get at the store when I made this list. So I just kind of made a rough outline of what my meals were going to be. And then, and you know, obviously the necessity. And then I made a grocery list before I went to the store that was more specific. And then my other list, this is like stuff to keep me busy or whatever so sunglasses books um, I'm bringing two books with me uh, journal pen airpods just like the little basic things for things to do actually I'm going to add something to my list right now even though they're sitting right here um, I am bringing a deck of playing cards because I like to play solitaire as I go through my list or as I see things around my apartment I'm just pulling them out and putting them out on the table here so that I don't forget them um, this is <laughs> obviously new as you can tell by the sticker um i didn't have a lantern before but i got this and then realized i need batteries for it so i had to like one day ship some batteries to myself but i think that this will do the trick i actually realized that i don't have a flashlight um i searched high and low i swear i used to have one i cannot find it but this will work just fine it's little as you can tell like compared to my hand like it's not that big but it looks like it'll let off a good amount of light i have a deck of cards this is another thing. I thought that I had cards. I searched everywhere. can't find them. So uh, I bought some cards. I have sunscreen, obviously, because I am going to be going out to the beach. I'm going to be outside. I'm bringing two books. I don't think I'll get to this one. This is the one I'm reading right now. I'm only this far in. However, I think it might be a little scary. <laughs> so depending on that, I have an alternative. And then, of course my AirPods so I can listen to the new Taylor Swift album. Okay, so here's my actual gear when it comes to camping. This is uh, my sleeping pad. It says it's self-inflating. I find that I still have to inflate it a little bit, but this is, obviously it's from REI, so this is the one that I have. I'll link all my gear down below. It's all relatively new. I bought it all within the last couple years, so most of it should be available or something very similar. My sleeping bag, again, a semi-new purchase. This is Marmot. 15 degree, you can see what it is there. Um, packs up really nicely in this bag. And then my tent is the REI Dome 2. They have variations, they switch it up occasionally, but this is a really common uh, two person tent. I think they like switch up the colors every year, but basically this is always there. So this is like a snug two person tent or a really roomy one person tent so this is perfect for me because then i can have like my bag and all my stuff in there with me which i like to do and then i just throw all my stuff in this ikea bag i'm also bringing my camp blanket um just for like a little extra insulation or if i'm cold or whatever you can never never go wrong with having a blanket so i will throw my tent and my sleeping bag in here as well as a pillow i just bring a pillow for my bed and just throw an old pillowcase on it because most of my pillowcases are white and I don't want to bring that camping. So I like bringing the Ikea bag um, for camping because it's just really easy. A, I live in an apartment, so lugging everything downstairs to my car individually would be a total pain. But also it just kind of keeps everything contained in the car. And the Ikea bag is durable, waterproof, all that kind of stuff, easily washable. So it's actually kind of a perfect thing for camping. Um, if you don't have one, really recommend grabbing one. They're like a couple of bucks at Ikea and I use mine all the time. Okay, and the final thing is my backpack. You can see my shoes over there. Um, this backpack I've actually had since high school. I got this for a trip to Europe with my high school class uh, back in, oh gosh, 2008. So <laughs> this thing has been around the block. I actually didn't use it for years, but it is perfect for camping. It's a little bigger than I really need for one night of camping, but I'll pack my sleeping pad in here and some other extra stuff. It's still just like a really convenient pack to use. This bottom pouch um, zips open for like shoes. There's a huge pouch in here for 
that goes like all the way down for all of my like clothes and that kind of thing. Then there's just like convenient pockets all around it. I also figured out that this top part zips off into a fanny pack, which I never knew until I think about a year ago I finally <laughs> discovered that, which could have used that sooner. Um, but yeah, this thing serves me really well. It fits a bunch of stuff. And again, because I live in an apartment, it's really easy to get this down to my car because it's a backpack. And I can just strap it on. And usually with all of this, I can get all my stuff down to my car in two trips between this, my bag of gear, and then my cooler. So I am going to finish just getting everything packed up. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down because it's a little bit distracting to have to record all of it. Um, but I think I kind of covered all of the basics here and you'll kind of see everything uh, once I pack up the car tomorrow and get to the campsite. But I am going to take a shower. I'm going to finish packing. I am watching Knock Down the House on Netflix right now. It is powerful and it's making me very emotional um and i'm going to listen to the taylor swift album again and i will see you guys in the morning when i hit the road good morning it is saturday morning it's a little after nine i'm getting a little bit later start than i initially intended but that's okay my body needed a little bit of extra sleep this morning and i still have plenty of time to get where i'm going and see the things i want to see so um I am pretty much ready to go. I'm just doing the final couple of things and then packing up the car. So here is everything all packed up. I've got my backpack, which has my um, clothes, toiletries, sleeping pad, extra pair of shoes, um, a couple other things in there. Um, Ikea bag is all stocked up with my ugly pillow. And then I have my day pack, which is not filled to capacity, but um, I'll use it later. And then my tent, sleeping bag, towel, um, and an extra blanket. I have, that is not coming with me. I have the world's tiniest cooler, but honestly it fit everything I needed for tonight perfectly, so I'm happy with it. And then my paper bag with dry goods and cooking gear. So I think I'm ready to go. It's a pull through site, but the actual like tent and uh, table area is kind of set back uh, from the road, which is nice. It feels really like private, and I love it. It smells so good here. It's that like dry pine smell. I don't know if that makes sense. If you know, you know. It smells amazing. You can definitely hear the road and kind of hear like ATVs and stuff in the distance, but. That doesn't really bother me too much otherwise it's nice and quiet i can hear the campers at the site next to me so i'm hopeful that they won't be too rowdy later on tonight but i guess it's too late i'm already here so i am going to get my tent set up unpack i think it's like 3 30 now um i didn't end up stopping and getting firewood on my way in which i'm on the fence of whether or not i should go 
try to find campfire wood or if I just go without a fire tonight, I can't decide yet because I don't really think I can scavenge anything from my campsite. So we'll see what happens, but I am going to go get everything set up now while it's still light out. because my camera battery is dying, of course. I should have charged it last night after I used it, but I never remember to do that. Um, my plan to hike out to the beach uh, did not work out. It is extremely windy and those sand dunes are intense. And it was about a mile to a mile and a half that I would have had to hike out just straight through sand dunes. And I got destroyed by the sand and the wind. Um, every square inch of my body was just like literally coated in sand. Um, so that didn't work out. Um, it was really beautiful out there. The sand dunes are super cool. Sorry, I'm just like wiping sand off of myself. Um, but yeah, uh, fortunately it is super sunny and it's still warm here. And so I'm just going to hang out in my campsite for the rest of the night. And I'm actually really looking forward to that. I am exhausted after that hike through the dunes, so I am just going to chill out for the rest of the night. as you can see and I just wanted to wrap this up really quick um, it was a pretty long drive getting back today because there's some traffic around Newport 
um, and I made a stop or two along the way. I am getting ready to hop in the shower. I have sand still everywhere. I like can't even touch my hair without like sand bits falling out of it. So yeah, I am very excited to shower, but this weekend was so wonderful. Um, I honestly, I thought that I was gonna be like a little bit scared or whatever being in the campsite by myself, but honestly, I felt fine and it was really freeing, it was really empowering and it was just like relaxing and peaceful and yeah, I just really enjoyed myself. So I definitely think I wanna do this again in the future. I'm going to end the video here. I've got homework to do tonight, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.